Hello again. I came with another video. In this video, I will I will give you a quick overview of how does Danfoss VLT drive connected to Siemens A7300 CPU and also how to configure the drive. Okay. Let's see some important notes on this. As you see, this is a layout of the ProfiNet. Okay. The, the first important parameter is the word, the control word. It has 16 bits or it's one word. Okay. This one is for zero and this one is one. For example, if bit one bit zero is zero, it means reference value. If it is one, it's external selection. Likewise, if bit four is zero, it means kick stop. If it is one, it means ramp ramp. Okay, let's see this on detail. Okay, this telegram. Telegram is for the Danfoss field at F300. Okay. If I want to stop the drive, I will send this control word. That is 43F. If I want to run the drive, I am going to send 47F. If I want to run the drive reverse, I will send this control word to the drive 847F. If I want to reset or acknowledge the fault, I will send 4FE. Okay. The other important parameter is the status word. The status word tells us the status or the current status of the drive that will give give some information for the PLC okay it also has 16 bits or it's one word okay if this column is for zero and uh, this one is one okay let's say it zero so if it be zero is zero it means controller not ready. If P0 is 1, it means control controller ready. Okay, like likewise, if P3 is 0, it means no error. If it is 1, it means triple. Okay, we will see this detail on the programming. So let's go to the semantic manager first and Configure. Okay, let's create new project first. Okay, the project name will be PLC to drive. Okay. Then insert new station, 300 station. Okay, PLC. Now let's configure the hardware. Configuration, configuration first. Okay, my CPU is like in IA module with integrated CPU. That's okay. Okay, this one. Drag and uh, drop on the the space, and let's create new network. Profi net net network. Profi net one. Okay. Good. First, let us add some I/O modules. The first one is the power module. Mm. 
okay and the let's add one output okay and one input okay now let's add the dumpos drive it's under additional drives and go to the dumpos vlt okay drag in the drop on the profinet network okay let's edit this is host name drive 50 and change the IP address 50 okay now let's add the telegram that used for the communication between the PLC and the drive okay let's use telegram 6 and let's it is a simple name okay the first one is the status word the second is the feedback back speed or the actual speed of the drive and for writing we that one is the control word and the second is the reference the reference speed okay enough I only use those two okay let's now save in the compile okay now I'm done on the hardware configuration let's add the, the programming let's add one function that controls our drive okay let's the network one is for start drive okay to start let's say memory bit 10 and to start the drive we have to send 47f like i said before on the powerpoint okay it's the control word okay let's send the reference speed So for dump force, the full or 100% is 4000 in hexa. So I want to run the drive 50%. So it will be 2000. And this will be the reference speed. Okay. Let's uh, add one network to stop the drive. Stop drive. Now it's normally closed and move. Okay. This one is the start. Reverse it. To stop, we will send the hexa four three F. And this is the control word again. So to this will be zero when it is stopped. So it will be reference. Okay. Let's change this one to start drive. The symbol name. Drive. Okay. And I am done on the controller. Let's add 
one network that reads the status of drive. Okay. Okay, let's read the status word to memory word 12. Okay, as I have said, the status word is uh, let's some let's take some important parameters from the status word. The first one is the bit one drive ready. If bit one is Zero, it means drive is not ready. If it is one, it's, it means drive ready. And if bit three is zero, it means no error. If it is one, it's tripled. And likewise, the other important parameter is the bit nine. If bit nine is zero, it means local operation or bus failed. If the bit nine is one, it means pass control. Okay. Okay. This, as you see, the first, the first column eight bits are word bit byte thirty, and the last bit eight are byte twelve, because I received the status word on memory word twelve. That means this. Word include this to by 12 and by 30. Okay, great. Let's receive each important parameters here. Okay, the first one is this one pass. Okay, okay, pass. Okay, or let's say this one. Memory bit memory twelve one this one this is the twelve the twelve byte okay let it put on memory twenty dot one this one is bus okay And the other important uh, important parameter is the drive ready or not ready. We have to receive this also from the drive. So drive ready. This one memory thirty dot one. And memory dot two, and this one gives symbol name drive ready. Okay, let's add one important parameter drive trip triped. Okay. Drive tripped. This one. P three. Okay. That's memory thirteen dot P three. Memory thirteen dot three. We will receive on memory bit. Okay. This will be drive. Drive tripped. Okay. I'm done for the status word. Let's add one network for the actual speed or the feedback speed. Back speed. Okay. Let's put this. That is the feedback speed. And let's re receive or put on memory word. 40. Okay, thank you. I'm already I'm finishing 
let's add the function on our obi1 for execution okay save and close i'm done on the semantic manager and let's go to, let's go to the msc10 software that is the software of the Danfoss drive so also we have to change some important parameters on the drive by using the local pa panel or by the msc10 and uh, downloading okay the first important parameter is the, the control side, as you see, must be control word, uh, digital only or digital control word. So we have to select the control word only. And on here, we have to also select the op option. Here are some options. So we have to select the option A. Great. And the second important parameter is the control word profile. So the control word profile must be FC profile for the dumb forces. So for each set of we have to select this one. As you know, the dumb forces ability has four set points. Okay. The other important parameter is the Digital bus, digital or bus. So we have to select those things bus for each set point. As you see, there are so many options. So we have to select bus. Okay. The other important parameter is parameter nine. Here, that is the to write uh, on the drive. We have to select. The first byte, the first word is the field bus control word, and the second parameter will be the reference speed. Okay, to read from the drive, the first word will be the status word we have to select here, and the second is the the main actual value or the feedback speed or the actual reading running speed of the drive so for each set point we have to select this one and if they have so many words you can more select likewise but i need only two words to write in the two words to read okay the last important parameter is the ip the ip setting okay the ip address assignment you have to select the dcp there are so many options here so you have to select the dcp or we can you can select other options here in the computer and the ip address likewise like we give it before okay the submit is that it's default it will read and if you have another uh, a router or if is there is a router between the PLC and the dumpers, you have to also set the default gateway here. And the other important parameter on this is the host name. So you have to change the host name as per the you give it on the semantic manager. Okay. Uh, we have done on this. Uh, we have done on the schematic manager, also on the MC10 software. So I have finished on this one. So to the next part will be the simulation part and the actual testing. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.